Coach, I know we've seen it time and time again already, uh, multiple times this season, but to have a veteran group that's seen a lot, that's played in a lot of big games, how much does that manifest itself on nights like this? It, it, it manifests itself for sure. You know, uh, in good and bad, it takes a little while to get going sometimes. Uh, but, um, you know, they, they find themselves in a hole and they, they're proud and, and, and respond. So that's... That's the most important thing, and they, they responded tonight. And, um, you know, other than probably a bunch of points, as, as the game was kind of over in the last minute or so, uh, kind of shut them down in the second half. So that's what we told them. We said we have to win this game with defense, and, um, and they did it. From a confidence standpoint, is, is it as simple as in that second half is seeing the ball going through the hoop and you get an extra bounce in your step on, on the other end of the floor? Or what did you see as the turning point from an energy-wise? Energy you know, I think the spirit was not great in the first half. The spirit was exceptional in the second half. But I think you're right. Like, it takes a couple, it takes a few minutes of stops and baskets to really see that spirit rise. And so we jumped on it early in the third. Um, you know, some balls went in, obviously, but I think that came off our defense. You know, came off getting stops, getting out in, in transition or semi-transition and getting to actions early um, and creating better scoring opportunities for ourselves. So I think the defense led to the offense. You're down a, a dozen. I'm sorry, bro. Well, I, just, I was, what I was going to ask you, in the third quarter, down a dozen, you're putting Cam at 16 points, and Spark, and it seemed like once he got going, the other guys were looking for him. So can you mm. just describe his impact? Yeah, you know, it's uh, without Joe, um, we were down a shooter, uh, a spacer, and so you know we, we got to we got to we have to go with some different lineups and different guys. And Cam was great. You know, he he stepped up with confidence to take shots, and uh, you know I think he is a is a kid who we all love and think has a bright future. But sometimes these early stages in the season, you're in tight games. You know it's it's difficult on the, just some of the mistakes that are, are are just inevitable with these young guys. But tonight he really hung in there, um, made some big shots for us, and I thought was really aware defensively. And uh, I was proud of him tonight. I was going to ask, um, are there the way he played where there were no glaring egregious errors? Mm -hmm. I mean. Does that little bit of time, or a dozen minutes, does that at least give you that modicum more of confidence to put him in a spot again? Sure, yeah, it counts for something, for sure. I, I'm not just going to turn my back on his performance. I thought he played great. Um, you know, with our team, we got a lot of guys that are kind of in a similar um, range as far as ability, and so that, that makes it a little bit difficult. But it's nice to have options. It's nice to have a young player like that who is talented. and. And for him to step up in a, in a game like this where we're down on the road and play well was excellent. And, uh, you know, he definitely, I thought, um, made progress tonight. Was there anything specific? Uh, you closed that on a 20-6 to 6 run. Was there anything specific defensively that you said, okay, we need to take this away, mm -hmm. that you were successful in taking away from that thing? Well, we, we went to uh, switching everything instead of just one through four. Um, but more importantly than that, I, 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 we just said at halftime, we got to get into bodies. You know, we they were into us. We were getting poor looks. We weren't as diligent with our physicality and presence, and and um, they were getting good opportunities. So, you know, we had to change that and flip that and at least have a chance. So I thought their physicality, uh, attentiveness was much better. Um, and like I said, that also fueled the offense a little bit. Was Jared's size giving Blake problems, or was there something else involved in the thought process of starting the second? Yeah, I mean, I think J.A. gave us problems uh, with his, his rim protection and the pain. And, you know, when we don't have a ton of shooting, it, it, it allows him more to be in there. Um, you know, but I just thought we needed to change something in the second half, play with a little bit more pace. L.A. obviously was making shots and spacing the floor for us. Uh, and then other than that, we played with a little bit more smaller lineups, um, you know, giving uh, James Johnson and Paul opportunities. So, um, you know, just tried to make an adjustment tonight to see if we could, could generate some energy and, and pace and, and turn the game.